Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is September 22nd, 2022. Getting close to midnight here and uh, going to be September 23rd. And uh, we have a very important update here for you guys. Because between September 23rd in the United States and September 24th in Europe... We have a very important warning that has come out. Everybody has been talking about this. This is not going to be a new piece of information uh, for you about September 24th, but I'm going to show you what I believe it really means, which I haven't heard anybody else say, so I am going to give you my uh, perspective on this. Um, first thing I want to do here, if we go to September 24th, 2022 in YouTube and search that, you're going to see that there's warnings coming from everywhere, September 24th, doomsday, um, the apocalypse will begin, the, the, uh, the great, uh, shaking will happen, or as the German, uh, politicians stated you will never forget what happens on September 24th so the warning is out there okay for September 24th but what does this really mean and I'm going to share with you what I believe this really means We know that the true calendar of God, September 24th, is the end of the month of Elul. It is not yet the Feast of Trumpets. And really on God's calendar, September 24th, there's nothing we can see from that as a uh, is a key moment in time or what God would consider an appointed time. September 24th. Okay, the Feast of Trumpets is not until September 26th or 27th, depending on when the new moon is, the, the, the 25th or the 26th, depending on when the new moon will be spotted. Okay, so September 23rd, September 24th on the Hebrew calendar doesn't really line up with what we would consider an appointed time. But there is a 924 that is an appointed time in the Word of God. And if we go to Haggai chapter 2. Haggai chapter 2. And you are looking for a day that is an appointed day for the shaking to occur, the book of Haggai gives us the date of the shaking, and it is 924, but it's not September 24th. It's Kislev 24, okay? It's not September 24th, it's Kislev 24. Consider now from the day... From this day and upward, from the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, even from the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider it. Is the seed yet in the barn? Yea. As yet the vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree hath not brought forth, from this day I will bless you. Haggai 2, verse 20, it says, And again the word of the Lord came unto Haggai in the four and twentieth day of the month. And this is the ninth month. It, we were just shown that it was the ninth month. The word of the Lord came unto Haggai again in the four and twentieth day of the ninth month. 9.24 Speak to Zerubbabel. Governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth, and I will overthrow 
the throne of kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen, and I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them, and the horses and their riders shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother." Speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth. Everyone will remember the 24th day of the ninth month. I have no doubt at all that everyone will remember the 24th day of the ninth month. This is what is written in the book of Haggai. But it is not September 24th because God's... The, the the calendar of God does not go according to the Gregorian calendar. It goes according to the Hebrew calendar. So when we look at the 24th day of the ninth month, what are we seeing? We're seeing Hanukkah. We're seeing the eve of Hanukkah. And then we have a week-long festival. And we have this time that is opening up that is... Really, if we look at the Hebrew calendar, we're going to see that this is actually in December. So we are going to see that the 24th day of Kislev, or the, the first day of Hanukkah, or Hanukkah Eve, is between December 18th and December 19th. And then we have the festival of Hanukkah, the Feast of Dedication, just as Jesus celebrated the Feast of Dedication in John chapter 10. You read John chapter 10, you will see that Jesus celebrated the Feast of Dedication. It was winter, and it was the Feast of Dedication. Jesus was in Solomon's porch, and he was talking to the people on the Feast of Dedication. It was on the Feast of Dedication in John chapter 10 where Jesus used the term harpazo, snatch. You will not be snatched. No one can snatch out of my Father's hand. The sheep that belong to the Father cannot be snatched out of the Father's hand. And this is the word harpazo. It's the word 726 in the Hebrew or in the Greek 726 it's in the book of John chapter 10 starting in verse 20 21 22 read that in John chapter 10 go ahead and read that Jesus celebrated the feast of dedication it was winter what did Jesus say in John in uh, Matthew chapter 24 and in Mark 13 let your flight be not in winter and we have this conjunction between Hanukkah December 18th through December 25th and we have the beginning of winter on December 21st and all of this lines up with 9 24 a day that you will not forget a day that everyone will remember 9 24 okay so between today tomorrow the next day so many people are expecting something major to happen I can't say nothing major will happen Quite possibly there could be, but the great shaking is not going to come on a day that is significant on the Gregorian calendar. It's going to come on a day that is an appointed day by God on the Hebrew calendar. And the Hebrew calendar gives us the day, the Bible gives us the day on the Hebrew calendar, the 24th day of the ninth month. Hanukkah, whether it is the eve of Hanukkah, the first day of Hanukkah, midweek Hanukkah, or during the week of Hanukkah, I think we have a time frame that God is really pointing to 
for the shaking. So, everyone will definitely remember 924. But this is not September 24. This is Kislev 24. Okay? So, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for your, your uh, following what we are trying to share with you. I know that everyone is watching right now, September and October, and we have seen many things that are pointing us to December, and I am just following through with the calling that the Lord has given to me to share with you. What I see, I am not called to follow the crowd. I'm called to share the signs that the Lord shows me about the coming of Christ. And I see December that could be more in line with... And I see December that could be more in line with the timing. So, I pray you guys are blessed. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for the